always a good place to start at the bottom and work your way up. Becky's good side. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to give you an update on how Becky's van is progressing. We are doing the flooring. Always a good place to start at the bottom and work your way up. So like I've mentioned before in previous videos, it is very important to insulate the floor of your camper van. Despite some people saying it's not that important, I personally think it is very important for two reasons. Reason number one is because in the winter, we all like our feet to be nice and warm. And in the summer, when you park your van, you don't want the heat coming up from the road going through the van. And also, if you've got a nice big fat exhaust pipe going across the underneath your van, you don't want the heat from your exhaust pipe coming up from the floor of your van. So that's why we like to insulate the floor of our vans. And in this case, we're using dodo mat to insulate the floor of the van. Becky's good side. <laughs> Because dodo mat is also a sound deadener, it is perfect for insulating the floor of a van. And also it's got its own built-in vapour barrier. And Becky's just finishing off sealing that vapour barrier with silver tape. Now Becky has filmed a video of her doing this herself. And you can see that more detail about this van conversion over on Becky's channel. Now Rebecca did find online on eBay of all places, a company that cuts flooring out for most vans. Was it most vans they do? Yeah, it was really interesting. There's loads of different models on there, yeah, that yeah. you could get them to do. So Rebecca chose to buy this pre-cut, pre-formed flooring for her van. It just made perfect sense. It was so cheap and it's so, so time saving. It just made perfect sense to buy this flooring. So that's it. That's what we've done. That's what we're doing now. We're laying this floor down on top of the battens. You can just about make them out underneath the silver foil. Duh. Rebecca Duh. is cutting out holes in the flooring to lay these extra pieces of batten just to support where these flooring actually joins even though that's in a well pretty much there's going to be no traffic in that area because rebecca's having her cupboards there we're still going to make sure the floor is fully supported just in case rebecca does change her mind i want to change the layout later on she can always do that we just want to make sure the floor is nice and solid so let's take a close look at what becky's actually getting up to these weren't stuck down, these, pa these panels, so I've left the paper on the back because it made it a lot easier. Should you ever need to take up a large section of these floorings, you just need to cut along the batten and then you can take up the whole length of this insulation panel all in one and it doesn't leave that horrible black residue as you can see along the bulkhead there that has been left. Oh yeah, we made a bit of a mistake. We insulated across this bulkhead, but this flooring fits so well that it wouldn't actually fit down once we tried to fit it. Yeah, the, the, the flooring is excellent, but it is a very tight fit. So I've cut out the section that we need and we've got a bit of batten here. So we're just gonna put some sticks like anything on there. You, you, you know what it is so that we can insert that in, which makes it the same level across as the battens we've already done. And the reason that we've had to do this is just because of the way that the boards have been cut. We weren't sure how it was going to be done in sections. So this is just to carry the two pieces together so that should we need to put any load on the two panels, they're not gonna vibrate or put pressure on the edges. And then once that's glued down, we're just going to seal it with the aluminium tape so that it, it continues the vapour barrier. So it looks the same as them? So it like looks the same yeah, basically. Yeah. So it's all nicely sealed in. Yeah. Proper job. So it is just these snags that you've got to consider when fitting the floor. But like Mel said, it has saved us so much time to have it pre-cut and all of that in and out, in and out, in and out, and adjusting, um, it does make a difference. But because we've added the insulation, it does lift the floor slightly as well, so that's something else to consider, so that the, the height of the floor has actually come up. So where the tailgate was, we had to just tweak it a little bit, but if you've got normal doors, it's not going to be a problem. Probably right, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
And I think it made the right choice of getting the tailgate. It made perfect sense. I love it because it's keeping the back. Like when it rains. You can open the tailgate, yeah. your bed won't get wet. Exactly, and I that's one of my bugbears. I don't like the bed getting wet. Really no, don't nobody like wants it. a wet mattress <laughs> or a wet bed. Nobody likes a wet and soggy bed. <sighs> Mel is full of good ideas. He is definitely the modern day Dr. Brown. If you don't know who Dr. Brown is, you need to watch Back to the Future. Oh. That one's got a little bit more room. That's all right, we can still take it over. Okay then, so we need to do the next so one. So you just want a bit here where these, these two pieces of timber join, plus there's a join there, so it's a three-way join. We're going to lay another batten down here to make sure it all fits nice. So we just yeah. need to move that. And Mel needs to move Put the spots. camera down. <laughs> Well, so if I take this out all together, oh. yeah. right on top of Bob's stuff. Oh, and also, this strip here is going to be used to screw the two pieces together where they, where the two pieces of timber come together. We're going to have that underneath and just put some screws down just to stop it doing that. Yeah, keep it nice. I'll need to trim a bit of that off as well once you've laid the batten down there. Oh yeah, okay. Right, so let's get this final piece done in here. Yep. So right, we'll get back to you when it's actually laid and you can see what we've done. So like Becky said, we're using sticks like whatever. <laughs> and all I'm going to do is put a bead of this down here. Like that. Don't need a lot because we don't want it lifting too much. Like in the hole she goes. Yeah, in the hole like that. This piece I've cut a little groove in because there's a bit of a rib there, so that's all right. You want to show the camera the groove? You can't really see it in the wood, but can you see it? There's a bit, yeah. of, a bit yeah, of a groove. That's it. You can like see that. it. So that goes in there, lovely. Same on this one because there's two ribs in the floor. I've made it a bit curvy. It doesn't have to be particularly neat. Like that. And then that goes in there like that. That's it. And that is it. Simple as that. Don't forget to release pressure. Otherwise it oozes out. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a tip for anyone who's not used a gun before. We simply cover the battens with our silver foil and that way it creates a vapour barrier like that. Really simple, really effective. And as I always say, keep it simple, keep it safe. And it don't get no cheesier than that, folks. So, perfect. Right, let's get that floor back down and screw it in place. So now that I've put these two pieces of floor in, and you can see why we added those extra battens. It's just underneath there. This is the join for these two pieces. You can see there. So that piece of batten is now going to support these corners, which is really important. And also, these two extra pieces are just there to support it, to stop it sagging a little bit when we put weight on it. So when we put the last piece on, it'll all stay nice and stiff. And we put little pins on here, little marks, using marker pen, we've marked it so we know where the battens are underneath. So we know if we put a screw there and a screw there, the screws are going to go into our battens. And the same when we lay the last piece of floor. So let's get that next piece of floor in laid down and get some screws in and we can call this job done. There you go, Dio. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Take the white, damage the floor. So we want to kind of go in that corner first. Down. Hold on a minute, I'm just going to give it in the way and try and get it back over in that corner. Yeah, that's it. We've got to, we've We're got going to do it this it. end. I've got to lift it and now get it in. Oh. That's it. That's it. Set and then sit. Should. Good. Look at that. Spot on. 
it? Look at that inch, look how perfect that is. Yeah. That is perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Teamwork, we finally did it after three bloody days. <laughs> three days to get this down, it literally has been just like tweaking, hasn't it? Three days of tweaking. Yeah, we may make it look easy, but like Becky just said, this is three days getting this to fit. Yeah. <laughs> It has been three days of just little niggles. Oh, right, enough, enough self-praise. Let's get some screws in. <laughs> oh, good. I found them blades. Oh, well done. Those in my drill box. <laughs> oh, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> We've been looking for them for a couple of days as well. There you go, my dear. That's your floor completely floored, covered. <laughs> well, there you are. That's Rebecca's van completely floored. Well, not complete yet because Rebecca's going to cover this in some kind of nice flooring, I've no doubt. But to see that, you're going to have to go over to Rebecca's channel where she's filming this van build in much more detail than you're seeing here on my channel. So don't forget to go over to Rebecca's channel, subscribe to her channel where you'll get to see this entire van build. I'll be over there too, so I'll see you right there. Thanks for watching, ta -ra for now. Hi. Sorry Monty, did I forget to mention you? Don't forget Monty will be over on Rebecca's channel as well. Yeah. We'll see you there. Right, lunch time.